Um. Hey guys, we have had the Troy Lee Designs SE4 chin mount up in our store since just about the very beginning. I think it was one of the first um, 10 that we actually launched with, but we never made a video because we didn't actually have the helmet in hand by the time we started making these helmet videos. So we're gonna do that now. Um, let's talk about why chin mounting first, and then I'll talk about some of the specific features of this helmet. And I'm actually gonna show you um, at the same time how to actually mount the chin mount on this particular helmet because it's pretty easy to do. We like chin mounting for a number of reasons. The biggest priority reason that we switched to chin mounting was actually the point of view. So when you're doing moto vlogging type stuff, you want your viewers ideally to sort of be in the seat with you or on the bike with you, if you will. The best way to get that is with a chin mounting perspective because it does two things. You wanna get the camera as low as possible to the terrain so that the obstacles are as um, deep as possible, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a second but you also wanna keep the, the camera mounted on your helmet so that your head has that gimbal effect and um, smooths out some of the jumping around, but also gives you that point of view footage. So when you turn to look at stuff, your camera's also turning to look at those same things. So definitely chin mounting. There's a few other nice sort of side effects of putting the camera down here on your chin. Um, it gets it off the top of your head, which is where a lot of people run it. But when it's on top of your head, it tends to get hit by branches, knocked by all kinds of stuff, and you can't see the camera. So it can easily be like whacked by a, a tree branch or whatever, pointing up at the sky the whole time or down at, down at your, uh, your visor and you don't get anything good um, that's worth filming and that can be a real bummer. We don't want you to miss footage. So putting it on your chin mount is gonna protect it. We don't like side of the helmet mounting because it makes us feel as viewers like we're doing this the whole time or squinting with one eye. Um, it's not ideal. So we like to do chin mounting down here, um, protects the camera, gives you the best point of view. Now, a little bit about this helmet. This helmet's got a little bit of these kind of funky curves to it. And it's one of the reasons, one of the initial helmets that we kicked off with, the reason we started making our own chin mounts is a lot of the mounts that we found on the market either didn't fit very many helmets specifically or just didn't last very long. So we went through several of those like Bane masks, sort of strap-on ones that you can find on, on Amazon. They kind of worked, um, but again, because you have to sort of wrap them around a lot of helmets, they would tend to crack and break and the strings would, or the straps would come loose all the time. Um, we've tried some other mounts that either were, were huge and bulky and like covered up all the vents and things like that or would fall off if you hit a jump or whatever. So there's a, there was a lot of reasons um, that we started making our own. Uh, it's actually kind of a cool story. We have a video up about it, I think. But we did, originally we did a mount out of aluminum um, that my business partner, John, actually sort of folded to fit the helmet. We realized it was a pretty cool idea. We were onto something. And um, today we 3D print them. These are actually made out of a rubberized flexible material. So we call these the unbreakable version of the mounts. These are new. We just started uh, releasing this, this version of all of our mounts recently. Um, but because it's flexible like this, you can see like it's, it's super flexible. Um, your camera can actually take a pretty good hit and even the camera will be protected. This is just about unbreakable. We have this funny video where we like drop bricks on it and hit it with a sledgehammer and run it over with my truck. Um, we did no damage to it at all. Like it got dirty, of course, but it was a totally usable mount at the end. So these are unbreakable. Um, the way they mount up, you can slam your face, you know, your, your helmet down in the bars or whatever, and you're gonna be just fine. So for this Troy Lee Designs helmet, specifically the SE4, um, we're mounting it up here. So the way you mount these is you're first going to find the position uh, that you want it on the helmet. You can use the photos in our shop as kind of a guide for where we intended it to be. These really are helmet specific. So each one of these is designed just for the helmet that we list it for. So you're gonna use our photos, figure out where it's supposed to be. In this case, I think it's, it's like that, right? So you're gonna test place it, make sure you know where you want it. You're then gonna peel off the backing of the 3M tape. We're gonna spread this just a little so that we make sure we get it on far enough. Start with one side. And then we're gonna do the other side. There we go. Press it into place, voila, there you go. Cool, so that's what the mount looks like on the helmet. Um, we've designed these to give you the proper tip back angle. Even when running the new uh, GoPro Hero 9 and Hero 10, which are these bigger cameras, and even when you're running the media mod or some kind of like a waterproof or protective case that some people use, you can mount this big camera and you're still gonna get sufficient tip back angle. The way you know where to set the camera is based on the eye port. So if you're riding enduro riding, typically you're gonna be standing up for the good stuff, which means your helmet's gonna be something like that. What we found is that this eye port up here is typically gonna be parallel with your horizon view. So you're looking straight out of that. Um, so if you line the top of the camera up, 
With a, a parallel with that eye port, you're gonna get pretty good point of view. You want a little horizon, a little ground, not just all the handlebars or the trail three feet in front of you or whatever. Um, and we've designed the cameras to give you that appropriate tip back when you're running them upright. Uh, a lot of people ask us, can I flip it over or run it upside down? Um, yes, you can. You can absolutely do it that way. You can also get a pretty good angle on most of our mounts that way, but it's typically unnecessary. A lot of times, like this mount's pretty high on the helmet, so it's not so bad, but a lot of the mounts are down here, and then you've got your, your camera hanging down here, and it can hit your uh, backpack straps and your water tube and things like that and kind of get in the way. So I know a lot of people do that because they needed the tip back angle. We've eliminated that problem. You can run your camera upright like that, no problem. Another cool feature that we've included is we've actually reversed the angle of the camera screw. So typically, um, the GoPro standard position is for the camera screw to come in from, I guess, the left if you're looking at the front of the helmet. We flip that around so it comes in from this side. The reason that we reversed the screw position is the newer GoPros have this side access battery door. And it's really frustrating to try to get at this when you've got a screw head right here, like blocking the, the spring part of it. And so by putting the screw in from the other side, you can see that now your door is clear and that whole problem's eliminated. Cool, so let's talk about what you get in the box. So you're gonna get this really cool box, um, which of course is worth the money by itself, I think, obviously. Uh, you're going to get a chin mount. You can see this is, I think, the Bell MX-9. So it's vastly different, right, from this Troy Lee Designs mount. So they really are like custom to each different helmet that we make. We're going to send you an alcohol prep pad. I forgot to mention when I was cleaning this helmet because this is a new helmet and didn't need it. But if you're running a helmet that you've had out in the dirt or whatever, use the prep pad to clean the surface where the tape's going to stick. It'll help it last longer. Um, we send you a couple of stickers. These are guaranteed to add at least five horsepower if you put them on your bike. I'm kidding, in case you wondered. They'll only add three horsepower. And ah, we send you a screw. So that's the, that's the traditional kit. We also separately sell this 90 degree adapter. And what that allows you to do is you're gonna mount that in the forks of the mount. And then it'll let you run your camera at the vertical angle, just like that. Now what that does is let you shoot in native full 4K for the um, vertical full screen format of like Instagram Reels or, or TikTok or YouTube Shorts. Um, we've had a lot of luck with that. We've got a video on why that works out really well. Um, but we sell these, they're a few bucks. If you buy them with the mount, of course you get free shipping on these. Otherwise I think you pay like a buck um, for shipping. So not a big deal either way. Check out our Instagram channel. We've got a lot of like, I don't know, 90% of the footage that we shoot for Instagram is shot using the chin mounts that we run ourselves. So we're active users of these products and that'll give you a really good sense of like what the view and the angle and all that looks like, you know, whether the camera's bouncing around too much, why chin mounting, all that kind of stuff. You're gonna see that in action by checking out our channel. Of course, um, like and subscribe here on YouTube. We've got this really cool podcast that you don't wanna miss. I will drop the links down in the description to the store where you can check out all of the, I don't know, 65 or whatever models that we've got available, many more coming. Um, it's definitely, definitely the way to go if you're into moto vlogging or you just want to capture the occasional footage, whatever your your angle is. Um, Troy Lee Designs, of course, make an awesome helmet. The SE4 is a standard. We sell a ton of these. Uh, now we've got a video that explains why. So check it out, guys. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.